Hello, everybody. This is Danny Brown. Welcome to English Phonetics. Uh, I really like this class, and I hope that you do. I'm teaching a lot of things this year, uh, a lot of things to remember. So you have to study and keep uh, repeating in your mind these rules and these pronunciations so that you can keep this all. All right, let's get started. Now, first of all, we're going to, uh, I just want to remind you that you have a test next week on the parts of the mouth. And I want to show you, I'm going to actually show you, it's not a test, it's just a small quiz. I'm going to show you the actual quiz so you can see what I'm going to test you on. Just a minute here. Okay, here's the actual quiz right here that you're going to take next week. It says day five, parts of the mouth test. Uh, you, you must turn this in. You'll have uh, about 15, 20 minutes to do this test. Directions, look at the picture below and write the name of each mouth part. All right, so there's nine parts here and here's the picture. Okay, do you recognize this picture? Uh, let me make this smaller. This is the picture that I showed you before and I told you to write, uh, take notes and write, draw a picture of this and take notes. I told you to do that. Can you remember now? Okay, I hope that you can do a good job. Study this, um, just a minute. In case some of you uh, don't, don't uh, remember, those parts of the mouth. Let me show you the original file, okay? This is the original file that I showed you. All right, here it is. And so if you uh, need to get some of these words down, get these words down, upper teeth, upper lip, alveolar ridge, hard palate, velum, uvula, lower lip, lower teeth, tongue. Now I will not test on the pharynx and the larynx. I'm not going to put those on the test, okay? All right, so get ready for that test next week. When you uh, start class, the first thing, bam, we're going to take that small quiz. Okay, let's uh, review now what we've studied before. Here we have long and short E sounds, and I want to review this, and then I want to do a little practice on this. Okay, do you remember this from last week? Long and short E sounds. Uh, the long E is E, like eat. The short E is E, like pet. And we have studied some rules. When do you use the long and when do you use the short? And I want you to be able to do these. Two vowel rule for long vowels. The two vowel rule says with two vowels, uh, in this case, E-A or E-E, -E, the first vowel is a long sow, sound and the second vowel is silent. So you can see R-E-A-D, the A is cut, and we make the first vowel E long, re. And these are two vowels. We cut the second one and the first vowel becomes long, C. Now there are a few times when that doesn't work. For example, the word heavy, omoi is heavy, but that's kind of unusual. Usually this rule works. All right, that's the first rule one. Now rule two, the vowel plus E rule makes a long vowel. For example, Pete is a name and recede. Um, you now right here recede this is stressed okay and there's a e here which is called silent e we don't say it and it makes this long recede peat silent e okay now if you put an e at the end of the word the vowel becomes long but the e at the end is silent no E on Pete and receive. We don't say the final E. So that's rule two. Now rule three, one vowel short word for short vowels. Let's try it. Nope. What did I get there? Recede, receding. 
Okay. Um, pet, met. Now notice there's one vowel here. We have one vowel, not two. And there's a, a very short word with just one vowel. That's it. And so it's always short. The E becomes E, pet. The A becomes A, cat. The O becomes short, which is A, hot, hot, okay? And so that's the one vowel short word rule. Now the last rule, rule four, is the one vowel stress syllable in a long word. And that makes a short vowel. For example, pebble. Pebble means a small rock. Uh, the word is pebble. That's two syllable. Pebble. And if there's two syllable, the stressed syllable takes a short sound. Pebble. Here's memory. That's memory. Actually, we usually cut the middle O and say memory, memory. Now this E is stressed. It's a long word and the E is stressed. And so it becomes short, memory. Okay, that is the rule. Now, now I'm gonna share a file that we studied last week. These are long E, words and we studied these okay but, and i will just spend a minute and i'm not going to look at all the words we'll just look at a few of them the first one is even even the second one is evil some students get confused with this word they say evil but it's not it's evil okay next one is ego next one is egypt next one is equal Next one is evening. Now I want to tell you that these break the rule. There's a, a rule four says if there's a long word with two syllables or more, then the stressed vowel is short. But in this case, these are special and they break the rule. You just have to remember them, okay? Um, but the others now are gonna follow the rule. Here, these follow the rule. This is an E with a silent E at the end, okay, here. Here, you have the silent E, and so this E is gonna be long, here. Delete, here is a long word, but you've got the silent E on the end, so it's gonna become E, delete. These severe, theme, sincere, gene, complete, concede, precede. There we go. Concrete. Now this is concrete. I'm sorry, the stress is on con. Concrete, concrete. And this is compete. Okay, now we have the EA words. EA is a two rule, two vowel rule. If you have two vowels, the first vowel is long. First vowel here is E, it's a long E, which is E, eat, deal, leak, seal, dream, peace, treat. Okay, if you want to learn these, then practice this entire list at home. And, and just by saying it out loud, don't just read it silently, say it with your mouth, and your ears will hear it. And these words, pronunciation will stay in your mind, you'll remember them. Now here's the EE, -E, such as B, B is a hachi. Bzzz, that's a B. Glee means happy. Peel, that's like a banana peel. The outside of the banana is called the peel. Tree, green, steep. Okay, all of these are taking the E sound, all right? So you might want to practice those and try to keep the pronunciations 
in your mind. Remember, by repeating, you're gonna naturally pick up that pronunciation. Okay, now I'm gonna share another file with you. Um, and this is a practice. We, we often uh, do rules, but you need to practice. Remember that if you, just a minute, I want you to see my face. If you really want to learn pronunciation, you've got to practice it with your mouth and try to repeat these things. Then you're gonna really get a lot better. You can get a lot better on your pronunciation if you'll just take a little time. You'll really get it. Now we're gonna do some practices here. I'm gonna give you two sentences. And I want you to try to follow these rules. And there's a, there's a rule in education. If the student makes a decision, they learn something. If you just sit and watch me make the decisions and give you the answers, you will not learn. But if you'll look at those problems and you'll try to answer it yourself, and then you check your answer, you're gonna really learn. That's a key to education. So let's try this now. All right, practice choosing the long E or short E, and notice her teeth. E, she's making the E sound, E, okay? Here we go. Long E is E, and short E is E. Now look at my mouth here. I'm gonna stop this for a sec, sorry. My mouth, E, E. Watch how my mouth opens. I'm gonna get close to the camera here. E. Eh, see how my mouth opens? Now watch the I. E, I, E, E, my, my tongue is high. E, I, E, 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 okay? Now we're gonna try the E and the E the, today, which is the long and the short E. All right, um, here we have it. For our practice, sometimes we will also have a schwa, uh, uh, when it's not stressed, we use uh. Okay, now I'm not going to read this to you. I want you to look at your computer and I want you to stop the video, get a piece of paper and a pencil and try to write the IPA for the underlined vowels, all right? The first one, I'll tell you the pronunciation, sincere. Okay, you have the silent E, and that makes this E. So you type this sound, or you write this sound. Okay, try these words here, and just one minute, I'll tell you the answer. Stop the video. Okay, here are the answers. Be sincere. You have your silent E at the end of the word. That means this is long E, sincere. And keep. Okay, that's the two vowel rule. If you have two vowels, the first vowel takes the sound and it's a long sound. Keep. The next one. Red. Eh. This is the one vowel rule. If you have a short word, and one vowel, it takes the short sound, eh, red. The next one, wheat. This is the two vowel rule. You have E, A, two vowels. The first vowel takes a long sound, wheat. The next one, seeds. That's also the two vowel rule. The next one, Near, that's the two vowel rule, near. Okay, let's try another sentence now. Are you ready? Practice two. Okay, stop the video, get a piece of paper, and try to write the IPA for the underlined vowels. Okay, I'll give you the answers now. The first one is Jeff. Now this is the one vowel short word rule. It's a short word, one vowel, so it's short E, E, Jeff. The next word, 
That's envelope. Okay, let's look at this word. The stress is here. Envelope. And if you have a stress on the word and it's one vowel, it's short. Got it? Envelope. Now, the second E has no stress. It's an unstressed word. In the. And because of that, it becomes schwa. Now, the O here, we're not studying O today, but there's a, sil a silent E at the end of the word. And so this, before the silent E, this vowel becomes long. And long O is O. So it's N V L O. All right, the envelope is, what's next? Correct. The stress is on the E. And anytime you have one vowel and it's stressed, no silent E on the end, it's going to take the short E. Correct. What's this name here? Oh, excuse me. I, I made a picture here. Correct. You have, you have your two. Correct. This is the uh, the long word stressed vowel rule. Correct. The e is there's two vowels. Excuse me, two syllables, and the second syllable e is stressed, so it becomes short. Okay. Now the the name. This name here is Pete. You have a silent e here, which makes this e sound. Pete. What's this next word? Letter. It's stressed. Again, it's the two vowel rule. Letter. And the stress is on le. And so that means the E is going to become short. Letter is a, what's this word? Wreck. Now, wreck usually means accident. <laughs> And this is kind of a fun saying. When we say that's a wreck, it means it's a terrible job. Pete's letter is a wreck. It means he did a terrible job on his letter. Okay, so repeat after me. Jeff's envelope is correct, but Pete's letter is a wreck. Okay, I hope that you learn these, that you're picking up this pronunciation. Uh, if you're making a few mistakes, that's okay, but don't say those mistakes don't matter, so I don't care. Try to pick up those small points. Try to correct and, and perfect your English, okay? All right. Now we're going to learn something new today. This is English intonation rules. This class is a requirement for English teachers, and English teachers are required to study intonation. And I have a special way of teaching intonation. Uh, I've given you this uh, handout. Let me show you. The handout's name is Day 5 English Intonation Rules. Okay, it's a PDF file, and you can get this at Google Classroom to study. But I'm going to read this over, and I, I hope you'll listen to this video, because as you listen to me and see my explanations, you're going to remember it a lot more. Let's read. English intonation rules. English intonation rules are very crazy and difficult. Are you guys able to read this? I think this might be a little too small for you. Okay, just a minute. English intonation rules are very crazy and difficult. However, there are four basic rules that will help you master most English intonation. Okay, so I'm gonna now make this bigger so you can read this on your computer a little easier. All right, here are the rules. There are just four rules. If you'll learn these four rules, you'll remember a lot, you'll do well. And you're gonna pick up some important points, some points that uh, are gonna surprise you here, okay? Rule one, verbs are loud. I ate it. Notice that eight is loud. I ate it. But B verbs don't count. That means B verbs are not loud. She is happy today. Now notice that my voice kind of goes down. 
she is she is happy today <clears throat> she is happy today multiple verbs stress the last word okay he is working we have is and we have working that's two multiple means two or more he is working the second or the last verb is always stressed here's another one he should play with us we have should play he should play with us we do not say he should play with us I don't say that the last verb is the stressed word she has been sleeping today now notice that there's three verbs has been sleeping these two are important to show grammar but grammar words usually don't have a stress it's the last word that holds the meaning of sleep so that is stressed she has been sleeping today now that's rule one that verbs are loud except not the be verb i'm going to put in rule one a special 1a rule with the word not because uh not is often said with the verb the word not is usually loud not is actually an adverb he is not working okay i can say he is working he is not working so not is usually louder than the verb number two he should not play with us number three she has not been sleeping today not makes the opposite of the sentence so it's very important to say it very loud all right that's rule one rule two nouns are louder okay rule one <coughs> verbs are loud but rule two nouns are louder than verbs my father removed my tooth okay notice how i'm saying this my is very low father is high removed is medium my low tooth very high so the two highest are the nouns the father and the tooth those are the highest the next highest is removed because that's a verb it's a little high and my and my are not so my father removed my tooth number two a policeman stopped the car okay do you see my hand a policeman stopped the car all right the next one danny is stronger than spider-man all right words like others someone both and neither are stressed these are a type of pronoun but they're usually very important but pronouns like he she they him her them are not stressed this is a key point and you'll be uh you'll be graded on this on a test this is one of the biggest points for many of you students many of my students especially japanese students make big mistakes with he she and they my father is my friend he goes to the store for me he helps me that is the opposite of english the word he is not very important that's why we use he because we already know him for example my father is really nice he goes to the store for me now see the second time i change from my father to he because it's repeated information the pronouns are repeated words and so we go low my father is very nice he always goes to the store now you need to practice that because this is new for you many of you have a bad habit he goes to the store he and and even worse is i oh my i am a student 
I like to go to Tokyo every week. I, and we don't do that. We say, I'm a student. I like to go to Tokyo. I never, never ask my father to go to Tokyo. I, so I sounds like I, I never, I go. Now in Japanese, what do you say? Do you say, Watashi wa Tokyo ni ikuyo? No, you don't. You just say Tokyo ni ikuyo. You don't even say Watashi wa. Why? Because it's not important. And so the Japanese way is to cut the word Watashi. The English way is to say it, but say it very low. Let's look at some examples. Someone ate the cookies that I baked. Now notice I is very low. Someone, that's a noun. Someone ate, a little lower, someone ate the cookies that I baked. So someone, cookies, and baked are your nouns. They're gonna be very high. Eight is gonna be a little high. The word the will be low, and that I will be low. That I baked, that I baked, okay? Let's try another one. Now here, some of you will say, I didn't know. We would not say that. We would say, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know that he was here. I didn't know that he was here. Now we would not say he very loud. I didn't know that he, we would say, I didn't know that he was here. I didn't know that he was here. Okay, that's the I mistake. Don't say I hi, say it low. Let's practice. Will you please repeat after me? I went to high school. Can you hear that? Repeat after me. I went to high school. I saw my friends. I wanted to play. Now let's say it all. I went to high school. I saw my friends. I wanted to play. Okay. Now uh, that is the nouns are louder rule. Now we have compound nouns. Compound means two nouns put together to make one noun. For example, high school, supermarket, shoe shop. Compound nouns stress the first word. So the first word, this is one noun, high school, but the first word is gonna get the stress. High school, super market, shoe store, vegetable soup, English class, all right? So this is how we handle the nouns. The nouns are louder, the verbs are loud, the nouns are louder. Number three, the adjectives are loudest. Sometimes this includes this, that, these, and those. Let's look. A green frog jumped over the big lake. A green frog jumped over the big lake, okay? Can you say that again? A green frog jumped over the big lake. Let's try another one. These old shoes are too small for you. Now we would not say for you, okay? Because you is a pronoun, we keep it down. These old shoes are too small for you. Now that is rule three, the adjectives are loudest. Rule four is very strange. Rule four says you can change rules one, two, and three if you want. Anything that is extra important can be stressed. Let me give you some examples. Uh, important things can be stressed greatly. For example, I went to a very high mountain. I went to a very high mountain, okay? I went to a very high mountain. Now, if I want to stress very, I went to a very high mountain. Can you see the, the feeling there? Very. So that is the rule. 
Now, another time is when we want to correct information. Someone says something wrong, and the word we're correcting, we raise the, uh, the stress. Uh, for example, someone says, the keys are on the table. And person B looks for the keys, but he can't find them. Oh, then he finds them under the table. So B says, they're not on the table, they're under the table. Can you understand? So he is correcting the information. The word on is wrong, and the word under is right. Let's try it again. A says, the keys are on the table. And B says, they're not on the table, they're under the table. So correcting information is an important time to change the rules. A third time is when we're contrasting two things to show that they're different. A, John and I went to high school together. Now, John is a noun, so it will be stressed. I is not important. I is not stressed. John and I went to high school. The high school is a compound noun, so the first word is going to take the stress. John and I went to high school together. Now, look at this word. John joined the music club, but I joined the art club. Now here we're stressing John and I, that's a contrast. Here we have contrasting. Contrast means a difference. We're showing a difference. John, music, I, art. John, music, I, art. Those will be stressed because we're contrasting. John joined the music club, but I joined the art club. Okay, in the first sentence, John and I are the same, but we don't stress pronouns, so I remains weak. In the second sentence, John and I are contrasted, and music and art are contrasted. So those four, they are all stressed. All right, those are the rules for intonation, and you can check these rules and study them more carefully at Google Classroom, get those files. Okay, so now we're gonna practice the Lord's Prayer. And I'm gonna show you a paper. And I have written some of the intonation already. And this is homework for you, or, or excuse me, this is classwork. You should do this during class today. And send it to me today, before the end of class. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's look at this. Okay, this is called the Lord's Prayer for Intonation. And um, I'm going to put this on internet. I'll actually put day five. Day five, the Lord's Prayer for Intonation. And I want you to do this today and send it to me before the end of class. Now, let's review the Lord's Prayer first. Uh, I want you to be able to pronounce this correctly. So let's uh, make this bigger. And let's look at the um, uh, pronunciation and the IPA. Our Father, who is, now remember, I is not the same as E. The E, the tongue is high. E, I, E. Can you do that? E, I, E. And the middle one, I, is here. Is. Okay. Our Father, who is in heaven ha hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but 
deliver us from evil for that o is in front of an r and it becomes o for yours is the kingdom and that's in the nose nasal and the power and the glory forever amen okay now i want you to write the intonation let's read write correct intonation level over the important words excuse me not over under under the important words that's my mistake <clears throat> Put intonation marks under each important word, single line for verbs, double line for nouns, and triple line for adjectives, or other words you feel are very important. Okay, so verbs are a little loud, so they get one line. Nouns are louder, they get two lines, and adjectives are the loudest, they get three lines. All right, now I've written this for you. This is where you do your work, right here. And I've done the first two sentences for you. This part, excuse me, this part and this part. And you need to do this sentence, don't forget this sentence, and all these. All right, our father here, it's got two lines because it's a noun, our father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Now the word hallowed is an adjective, so it's very loud. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Now notice that our is not stressed. Who is in is not stressed, it's low. Be your is low. Okay, listen again. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed, be your name. Number 10, your kingdom come. So kingdom is a noun, it's loud. Come is a verb, it's less loud. Your kingdom come. Now I'm going to read the rest of this and then for your classwork, you should copy these lines and paste them under these words or if it's easier, you can print out this paper and draw lines and then copy it or take a picture and send it to me, okay? But I want to see your work. Okay, let me read the rest of this and then at home you can mark your intonation. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, I want you to write that intonation underneath the Lord's Prayer and send it to me by Google Classroom today before the end of the class. Class, class is finished at 3.05, so you should send it to me before 3.05. All right, thank you very much. Now, uh, this today and last week we studied the long E and the short E, which is E, E, E. Right now we're gonna study the, the I sound and the long I, I, and the short I, I. I talked a little about that already and now let's study it. Okay, uh, introduce long and short I. Hit, I, that's short. Ride, I, that's long. Long, I, 
we have the two vowel rule and we have the vowel plus e rule for uh, short i high uh, excuse me for long i high so for long notice i don't give any examples that's because the two vowel rule doesn't work very well for i i'll talk about that in a minute but the vowel plus e rule works very well hide now for the short i which is i the one vowel short word like sit hit mit kit also let me move this move my face here also the one vowel stress syllable like the word listen it's two vowels uh, two syllables, listen, but the stressed syllable gets the short i sound, listen. Okay, let's look at those. Now, the, uh, excuse me, the long i doesn't work very well, for example, or the two vowel rule doesn't work very well, for example, friend and believe. Uh, they just don't work well for the for the two vowel rule for i the two vowel rule works really well with a lot of vowels but not with the i and so we're going to change the two vowel rule we're going to change it into the ght rule because that's a special rule for i when you see ght usually almost always the i is pronounced long i night flight okay so now we have two rules for the i the long i the ght rule and the silent e at the end of the word rule night flight hide for the short i sound we have the one word short word rule sit and the long word with a stressed i becomes i okay, those are our rules all right. Now, uh, the long GHT rule, please repeat with me. Night, flight, sight, might. Now, the vowel plus E rule, please repeat. Hide, ride, side time okay now the short i is an i sound remember what i told you a minute ago i wanted you to see my mouth again so just a minute we have our tongue goes very high for e e is very high in the mouth okay here's a tongue very high whoops e and then i goes a little lower i and e eh goes even lower. E, I, E. E, I, E. And so we need to keep that in mind. We're doing the I right now. Okay. Okay, let's practice the I. One short word rule. Please repeat. Sit. Hit him lip do it again sit hit him lip good now i hope you're not using the e sound it's not seat heat heen leap okay it's lower tongue e sit hit him lip now we have the one vowel stressed syllable where we have two syllables listen kitten commit it's two syllables and the stressed syllable takes a short sound listen the i is stressed and short i is i listen kitten do you know kitten it means a baby cat kitten now this word the stress is on the i here. Commit. 
commit. And here, insult. Insult means bujoku. Insult. You're stupid. You're dumb. Okay, that's an insult. Insult. Okay. Now, let's practice some words here today. Please repeat after me. These are all I words. Ready? Visit. Quick. Please repeat and try to get a good I sound. E, I, E, 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 E. It's in the middle. I, E, E, E. Visit. Quick. This. Listen. Hit. Milk. Fish. Big. His. Is. Minute. Swim. Are you practicing with me? Sister. Sit. Him. Okay, those are the I words. Now let's try some E words. See. Please repeat. See. Sheep. Receive. Police. Teeth. Tree. Please. Machine. Leave. People. Green. Teacher. All right, now we have the I. I. Please repeat. Might. Kite. Right. Night. Might. Flight. Sight. Light. Let's go down. Kite. Hide. Side. Pipe. Ripe. Time. Okay, did you get all those? Can you remember them? Now, we're going to mix them. I want you, when I'm in class, we don't have class, I usually have you and your partner talk together and try to decide each word. That's kind of exciting to talk with your friend, but we can't do that today. So I want you to stop this video and I want you to look at these words and decide, is it E, which is long E, I, excuse me, E, E, which is short E, is it I, which is long I, or is it I, which is short I? Just a minute. Okay, let's, uh, whoop, 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 I'll tell you the answers. Just a minute. Forward. Okay, here it is. Now we have long E, which is E. We have short E, which is E. We have long I, which is I, and we have short I, which is I, okay? So you have to choose E, E, I, I. All right, here it is. Now you stop the video, and I want you to think for each word what is the correct vowel sound and try to use all of the rules. Now I'm teaching you these rules. You've got to try to keep them in your mind and use them so you can learn them and become fluent in this. All right, so stop the video if you haven't finished. Now here are the answers. All right, I'll repeat. Please say them with me. 
C. Might. Listen. Let's talk about a few of these rules. C, that's the double vowel rule. The first vowel takes the long sound, E. The might, that's the GHT rule. With an I before a GHT, it's always I. Listen, this is the long word rule. It's got two syllables, listen, and the stress is on the li, so it becomes short, listen. All right, let's continue. Please repeat, milk, big. Those are both short words. Short words take the short vowel sound. Visit, tree. Teeth, he, people, leave, this, sight, fish, hide. Okay, did you do well? Let's try another one. You stop the video and decide what each sound is. Okay, I'll show you the answers. Receive, please repeat, receive. There's the two vowel rule. E-I is two vowels and the first vowel takes the long sound, receive. Minute, there's the long word with two syllables and the stressed syllable takes the short sound, minute. Swim, please repeat, swim. Sit, this is ripe, please. Police. Now here, police, the E is silent and it makes this I become um, E. Police. Oh, that breaks the rule, doesn't it? Okay, wait a minute. This breaks the rule. Normally, this would be ice because there's an E and so this I becomes long. But this breaks the rule and you have to remember police. Milk, up here, the GHT rule. Flight, teacher, sister, time, sheep. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we're going to practice a little bit with the I words. Now this is really hard for some of you and you're, you need to practice this. Remember what I said earlier. Let me go back to my face here. Uh, we have the E, 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 and the tongue is different positions. E, 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 okay? In Japanese you say E, E, so stop halfway. E stop. E, e. That's it. E. And that's what we're going to practice right now. The I sound. Okay. Here we have. Please repeat after me. E. Now try to get that position in your tongue and remember. E. E. Hold your tongue that way. E. Hold it. Try to remember it. E. Fib. Please repeat. Rib. Bid, did, hid, kid, lid, rid, slid, big. Okay, get your tongue position. E, e, e. It's in the middle. E, e. Dig. Fig, rig, dim, him. Let's go up. Rim, 
pin, sin, ten, win. Now, many uh, foreigners who don't speak English well, they don't say win, they say wean. I wean the prize, but wean is a very strange word and it has a different meaning. Don't use the word wean here. I win, dip, hip, lip, sip, his, bit, fish, wish, fit, hit. Now let's go up. We have some longer words in just a minute. Lit, pit, sit, slim, whimsical. Whimsical means there's no logic. Just I just feel like doing it. That's whimsical. Chin. Right there, chin. Ugly. Thin, a skin, thin, kitten, mission, listen, remiss, commit, insult, insist. Okay. Now I have another work for you. This is homework. You already have your classwork. Your classwork today is to do the underlining, underlining of the Lord's uh, prayer for intonation. But I want you to do this for homework. And uh, you can do it any way you want <clears throat> on uh, writing or print it out and write it or just do it on your computer. Do not send it to me. I do not want you to send it to me, but I want you to do this practice because I'll give you the answers next week. Next week, I'll give you the answers, and I want you to see if you could do it. Let's try. Number one. I'll do number one with you. We hid his tie. Can you do that? Okay, we, that's E. Hid, that's a short I, I, his, tie. Now that's the two vowel rule. It does not usually work with I, but in this case it does. You have the silent, the, the first vowel is I, and it's tie. Okay, now you have other words. I want you to write, underline all words with the I, sound. In this one, hid and his are the only ones. All right. I think I'm going to send this to you uh, in a Microsoft Word file. That way you can underline them. Okay. Underline them and I'll check and tell you the answers next week. Okay. that be your homework. Please do this because you need to remember this uh, pronunciation that I'm teaching you. All right. We are finished today, and I hope that you enjoy my class. Um, pronunciation's fun and exciting. Uh, we're doing the vowels right now, so we have many rules. Now, for the consonants, there's not a lot of rules. There's just a lot of changing of the mouth. But I hope you'll remember these rules. Um, please work hard on homework. Do some things for fun. I know a lot of you are playing video games because you can't go anywhere. But please do study homework and do a good job. and you'll feel proud that you've learned a lot. All right, I wanna thank you very much for all your hard work, and I hope one day I can see you back in my class. All right, thank you and goodbye.